Hello and welcome to another video from Inzara.com. In this video, we will see an overview of the Timesheets Manager Excel template. This template can be used to create timesheets and maintain timesheets for multiple employees in your business. And it will help you generate weekly, bi-weekly, monthly timesheets, which you can print and save as PDF and retain for your purposes. This template is available from inzara.com. I'll be putting all the links uh, in the video description below. So if you have any questions about this uh, template, please reach out to me in the comments below. Now let's get started. We can think of this template in three phases. The first phase is the settings, where we can enter information and customize the template for our own businesses' needs. Then is the time card entry, which is where we will enter all the data about each employee's time in and time out for each of the days. And the third phase is the report or the timesheet creation. So we can go to the report setup sheet where we can define which employee we want to print the timesheet for. We can enter some information that can be customized and printed on the timesheets. We can also choose which type of timesheet we want, weekly or biweekly. So for example, this is the weekly timesheet um, time and this is all pre-built. You don't have to do anything here. It's fully automated. You can go ahead and file print or save as PDF and save it for your purposes. So this is how the template is so simple. You enter the settings one time to get started with. On a daily basis, you can enter the time card entries. Then whenever you need it, you can come in and choose the employee to create the timesheets automatically. That's it, so simple. Now, let me talk a little bit more about some of the uh, um, detailed features here. So when we look into the setting sheet, as I mentioned, this is done to make sure that all the common policies in the industry are being accounted for. So you can choose which days of your um, company, which days are weekends, and then you can also have the week begin from a Monday or a Sunday, depending on how your business operates. The template has a start date where this is the date from which you are going to track time and then the template can handle up to one year of tracking in one file. So if we start on 15th August 2020, you can go until August 2021. The holidays can be entered here and it's pretty straightforward. If your company has holidays, you can enter them here. And so we it'll automatically get represented and uh, shown on the timesheets. Overtime tiers and limits. This is where you can customize how your company views regular and overtime. You can even change the names here. So if you don't like the regular and overtime, you can change it. Regular, overtime, double overtime. There are three tiers that are supported by this template and you can have a rate for each tier, and you can also define how some um, how you can jump from one tier to the next. For example, after eight hours in the day, eight hours of work in one day, then you go into the next tier, which is overtime. After you reach 10 hours for that day, then it becomes double overtime. And that is how easy it is for you to set this up. And then the weekly limit is again, you can, if you have a weekly limit for regular time, if the employee works more than 40 hours, then it goes into overtime. This is how you can uh, make sure that your policy or your company's policies are actually implemented here in this template. And to help you with that, the policy text will also get automatically populated. You can see that it's actually written down in like a policy text what is the policy that's currently being implemented in the settings. You can also choose whether you, for weekends and holidays, whether you want to consider that, like if somebody works on a weekday and a holiday, do you want to give them as overtime rate or do you want to give double overtime or do you want to just consider regular? You can customize that as well. And then um, there is also a, a special policy. Uh, I think this is a California state policy where there's a seventh um, consecutive workday policy. If you don't need this for your business, then you can just choose no. Um, if you do, then that's also supported. So you will spend the first few minutes setting up the settings to mirror your company's policy. And if you have any questions, uh, please reach out to us. Please put a comment in the comment section below. 
And this is it. Once you set the settings, it's going to be pretty straightforward. You go to the data time card entry sheet, you put in your unique employee ID and then the employee name, and then you can customize these two columns, whether you want to put the title of the role or a title of the employee or something else. Similarly, if you don't want to put a manager name, just change the column name here and then put in something else perfectly fine. We also have a few extra columns um, which you can use for your own tracking for any purposes. You can customize them, you can change the name and then track some other information here. The actual time entries themselves are pretty straightforward. So in this case, I'm just writing, um, if it is 8 a.m., I can just type in, like for example, 20, 0, 0, that gets converted into 8 p.m. Sorry, I said 8 a.m., I meant 8 p.m. So let's say I want to change this from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So the way I will type it in is 16 colon dot dot, that's basically 4 p.m. So it'll automatically get converted. Um, and then the time out, which is when I um, the, the work is finished, let's say this is going to be 9 p.m. And so I will type in 21, 0, 0, that's the time out. And the break time is how much time I took uh, as break during that set, uh, shift. So if I took one hour, so I'll just type one colon zero zero tab. So that's one hour of um, break time. So four to nine and then with one hour of break time. The template can also handle if you go across um, overnight, for example, starting at 3.30 p.m., finishing in the morning the next day, that's still handled. Um, you can uh, handle overnight shifts. Pretty straightforward, just put in the AM uh, for the next day time and it'll automatically calculate. Very, very simple. This is all you would enter every day for each employee and it can support 365 days. Now let's go into the report setup, which is um, where you can define what you're actually um, going to be looking at in the timesheet. So for example, if I want the employee ID 2 to be printed on the timesheets, I just change 2 and I can go here. Now employee 2 is actually the one that um, whose data is actually used for the timesheets. Similarly, um, if I want employee three, I can change it, employee one, uh, that's straightforward. Custom field is something that whatever we enter here will automatically come up here. You can see here on the timesheet. So flexible, you can type whatever you want to communicate on the timesheet there. Similarly, uh, company information, company name, tagline, address. So you can actually see that it'll come on the left side of your timesheet automatically. And then um, you also have a custom field which will appear below here. You can see leader and customer satisfaction. You can change these things to meet your company's needs. Then you have the time period selection, which is the timesheets automatically generated. So basically you will have to give just the date. For example, if I want my weekly, let's say, um, you know, I wanted to start from September 2nd, and now I can go to the weekly time. You can see that it starts from September 2nd and goes all the way to September 8th. And this is how um, the template will automatically create the weekly. And if I go to the bi-weekly, it starts from August 1st, and that's because I've set it up to August 1st. So this is designed in such a way that you, um, depending on in your business, whether you do weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, um, or custom date range, you can choose one of these options Maybe you, you won't have to use all of them, but you'll just um, use the one that's suited for your business. And then you change the dates and you go to that spe that specific sheet. Uh, you can either click here or you can just go in the um, tabs here. Both options work. And you can see in the timesheet, let me show you. This is the bi-weekly. You can see that in the timesheet, you can see the total hours worked. And let me take a closer look here. So you can see that the 1st to 14th August, and in this case, the employee, um, since we only started tracking from August 15th, nothing is showing up, so that's not a good example. Let me go and change it to August 15th for bi-weekly, and I'm going to go here, and now you'll see 15th August to 28th August. So two weeks of uh, entries are shown here. The day of the week is shown. Whether it's a weekend or a holiday will be highlighted as W or H. And then you can see the regular hours automatically calculated over time, double over time, and then total time. All of this is calculated um, for those days. 
and then they are summarized here at the bottom to show total hours worked, um, regular time, overtime, uh, and then you know double overtime. See, in this case, there was no double overtime, but you can see that there is um, there was overtime, and the overtime rates are shown here, and then it will get calculated as the pay. So total pay of this much amount for this employee between this and this date. So it automatically calculates that for you. Uh, so this is how um, you can generate the bi-weekly timesheet. Similarly, the, the same concept works for monthly and weekly as well. So that covers the functionality in this template. This template can be used to create these type of timesheets for multiple employees in one file, and you can see that they can, there are multiple employees here. You can go up to 200 employees by default, but you need more than that. It's very, very easy to extend um, to any number. So just reach out to us. And there is a free version of this template, which looks a little bit different, but it performs kind of similar functionality for one employee at a time. So I'm gonna put a link to that in the video description below, which you can download for free and use it for one employee. Um, it, it works perfectly fine if your need is for multiple employees in one file, then that's where this template that we kind of looked at today will come in helpful. So please let us know your thoughts and feedback in the comment section below. If you have any questions, reach out to us. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.